So on today's video, it's been a full night, stripping uh, my, my van, taking parts off it, took the turbo off, catalytic converter, power steering pipes and drive shaft yesterday, so I was doing that all day and then when I went to chill and go bed, fibromyalgia kicked in, pain. So then I've ended up staying awake, so it's from 5 o'clock this morning with no sleep. I've come out and made this uh, Dremel bit organizer holder storage portable solution. Might put a French cleat on it. Probably should. Probably am, I mean. I'm gonna. Alright. So, you need, well you don't need, but I use this. Uh, Adjustable square or whatever it's called. So, uh, the back row is half an inch in, half an inch in, and then half an inch in. So, from the side, half an inch in, and from the back, half an inch in, using your square or whatever you've got, ruler or anything. So, then Put one one dot with your pencil, another dot a bit further down so you know you're going straight. You know that you you've, you've now I've sanded curved over, sanded the edge, so it's got no sharp edges that are going to break and then crack easier and that. So just double double check, couple of couple of pencil marks. Make sure you're doing a straight straight line, and then I did them. Um, half an inch in and then half an inch between them all and then I just stab the pencil in so they're using like a centre punch or something just stab the pencil, pencil in every half inch and then obviously that square isn't long enough so then I whipped out the ruler and that's where a couple of extra dots are long so you know you're going straight half, half inch in all the way down comes in handy so ruler And then a bit of planing. It's always easier to plane as long as your plane's nicely sharp. You don't have to do much sanding. And I always do a bit of sanding after I do the edges and that. So curly whirlies, bit of planing. It's not for squaring it up and that. I'm not very good at squaring it up with a plane, as you can see the big cracks in my workbench. But it's solid, doesn't move. In vice, I, I tend to just do things without you know doing a trial run. So I learned how to well how to go at squaring up boards, two by twos, two by threes, whatever they're called, to make this. So yeah, ADHD, fibromyalgia, sit away. So your pencil comes in handy. I like to use nine mil, more accurate than that. Uh, bit of one eighty grit, bit of one twenty grit sandpaper for your edges and that. So then I tried the three a three mil drill bit, but it was too tight. So this is a four mil, and I just adjusted this. Uh, Countless in curlips on the drill bit so that it could be about two thirds down on most of them. Some of them are longer, some of them are shorter. So, yeah, you can use whatever you want. A little bit of tape around there does the same thing, make a flag so you, you can set your depth gauge. Boom, drill. And then, obviously, to do these bits, I uh, the feet, I drilled them. Count the sunk on and then use the, the drill bit without a count the sink on just because it to go all the way through because I've got very long ones. Yeah, then just uh, 250 millimeter screws, bit of, bit of wood glue, got the bottom on and then sanded it up, sanded it all, planed it all for what I needed planing. And yeah, how many holes have we got? We've got three, six. 12, 18, 24, 
126 all so far, quite a lot of them have full, but bigger bits and a bit more space than that. So, organised, I've got the tungsten carbide double cut pieces there, cuts all and Dremel 125 around the edge and random ones. Pack of diamond bits I've got of hammers in that are in there, so there's two, two rows of them. Boom. There's all your diamond bits, and the diamond bits that come in, the Von Hoos are there. All the Von Hoos little bits are in there that can go in there. Careful with these wire wall ones, I got stabbed a couple of times with that. But yeah, that's more tidy than all these tubs. I mean, I've really got a pen box of them in just to carry on with me, and that's the ones that I use most. And then, next thing is the die grinder. So yeah, I'll uh, skip over to some recordings that I had footage I took of making it. Oh yeah, wood glue. You need wood glue to do it, obviously. I reckon that's about it. I don't think I've left, left anything out. Oh, and an impact driver or screwdriver or something. Excuse me. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video. One more subscriber for 50 subscribers. Get one one subscriber off this on this video. I appreciate it. Yeah, uh, enjoy the video. So there is what it looks like. I've got more pieces. So there are quarter inch bits for the die grinder. Got all the eighth inch shanks, Dremel bits, whatever uh, rotary tool you've got. Yeah, the Narmini's in there. Two Von Hoos packets are in there. And then a, one Dremel pack, another Dremel pack, uh, diamond bits offline, and then tungsten carbide bits, cut saw bits, Dremel bit one, two, five. Yeah, man, happy. I'm mean, happy, chappy. Happy, chappy. Do you reckon? Tidy.
Do you know what? Let's see if we can get it out. Slightly to be knocked over. I'm not going to drink the mess a lot, of it, but you get the idea. You don't, want to, you don't want to knock it over, so it needs to be a bit more stable. So, all these little packets that you take everywhere. Take anywhere anymore. Sweet. <laughs>